Today I'm going to teach you how to transform into Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn would famously put a layer of Vaseline or Nivea cream on her face before makeup. So to prep the skin, I'm using this Embrelease, which is a really nice thick cream. I'm using these pixie toning eye patches. Marilyn loved her sleep. She'd get 8 to 10 hours a night and I'm running on a shaky 4 hours. She didn't like an overly powdered base, so I'm going to start out with Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. Any medium to full coverage foundation that's not overly matte will work perfectly and I'm also going to add in some of my LA Girl Pro Mixing Pigments in blue and white because this is a little bit too tan for me, that's what the white's for, and a little bit too warm for me right now so that's what the blue's for. I applied that in thin dots all over my face using a Lancome flat top brush to buff it all out. Her brows are super wide set with a heavy triangular arch which I sort of have that shape but mine are a lot lower than hers. Using Too Faced concealer to conceal my brows just to push them up a little bit and then draw in her triangular arch. Marilyn would use a white base all over her lid so I'm going to DIY my own by using that white pro mixing pigment by LA Girl we used earlier and just adding some powder to it to thicken it up a little bit. I'm going to use Huda Beauty for that. Next I'm taking a taupe eyeshadow and rather than putting it directly in my crease socket like Marilyn has, I'm actually setting mine right above my crease socket because I want to emulate more of an eyelid like she has. I took that same white base from earlier and a flat brush and I just pressed it right into that crease a little bit above where my hood goes in that way when I tilt my head back or when my eyes are open softly we're starting to get that Marilyn effect it's not getting swallowed up by our hooded eyes I set my lid and my brow bone with a white shadow applying some concealer right around my nose bridge where it starts because as you can see mine is a lot more sunken in than Marilyn starting on her eyeliner I'm using a reddish brown and one thing I just want to call out is the shape is very interesting generally speaking it'll start going pretty normally and up to a point like almost an arch and then it's slightly angles downwards. One of her makeup artist tricks was to take a bit of a red pencil or lipstick and add it to her inner corner to make the whites of her eyes look whiter. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna use Lumify since you guys always say I look smacked. <laughs> Next we'll do a white liner in the waterline. A little bit on the inner tear duct as well. And another secret of her makeup artist was to draw this little second wing that was made to look like the shadow from her lashes. Getting ready for falsies, I just used Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Cut your falsies in half and just applying them to the outer corners of my eyes. Contouring my forehead really heavily, I really want to shrink it as much as possible. Same thing with my jaw, just so I could try to shrink it and emulate her heart-shaped face. Moving on to the nose contour next, I'm just making this little V and then to shorten my nose, I'm going to contour away all the length here. Okay, we look crazy, but trust me. I added a dot here to emulate her button nose. I added a little bit of highlight to the sides of my nose to widen my nostrils. To pop those out a little bit more, just added some contour beside the nostril highlight. And then I widened my nose bridge a little bit with highlight. I added some contour around the button to pop that out. And same with the width that I added down my nose. I'm about to blend it. Again, I've told you guys about these before, but if you struggle with muddying up your contour or your detail work, you need a tiny baby beauty blender so small pretty happy with that. For blush, her makeup artist would use like a reddish brown color to sort of contour her cheeks with. So I'm going to mix these three cream shades and do that now. And they would apply that color right at the cheekbones and then drag it down through the mid face. And they would apply a bit to her nose, so I'm doing that too. Next I went in with my Huda Beauty Pound Cake and I powdered everything. Marilyn wouldn't have done it, but Marilyn didn't have to contour everything to look like Marilyn. On to her iconic red lips. I started out with Makeup by Mario Lip Liner and Kelly on the bottom, but I'm thinking it's a little bit too berry. So I'm switching to the same lip liner and Neil. For her lip shape, they would do pretty much the opposite of what every other TikTok lip lining hack tells you to do. Instead of going heavy on the cupid's bow only, they do the opposite. They don't go too heavy on the cupid's bow. It's mostly on the outer side of her lips. A lot of times they would make this little split in her bottom lip. Jaja wanted to say hi. Makeup artist would use a darker red around the edges of her lips and then a lighter orangier red towards the center. I think I have the perfect lip combo for this. I'm starting out with MAC and E for Effortless for the darker red. Then Winky Lux and Heart is going to be the perfect orangey red. I added the wig and the beauty spot and here is the final look. 